All right, hello everybody. Uh, just another update video on the 6502 computer project. Um, I'm going to stop or try to stop calling them quick updates because they never seem to be quick when I say that. Um, so before I get into what I've done as far as hardware and, and software, um, I'll briefly touch on uh, the status of the BrainFuck interpreter. Um, I spent probably too much time working on it, banging my head against it. I kind of made some progress, kind of didn't. Um, still more debugging needs to be done. Eventually I got sick of it today, so I took a break and connected the uh, versatile interface adapter. Um, as you can see, GPIO is working. Uh, I also connected um, this line right here, the interrupt signal. I haven't connected it to the ACIA yet, but that's whatever. Um, but with that, I am able to do this. Um, this is just a timer uh, that I'm using to get a one second timer. <laughs> um, I should say there's a timer on the VIA uh, at 10,000 ticks, and then that triggers an interrupt, which has a counter, which counts up to 100, and that gives me my one second. Um, so this is just kind of proving that it works and learning how to use it a little bit. So yeah, I would call this pretty good progress. I'm pretty happy with this. Also, um, you'll notice, so this chip is uh, 74LS138, um, I've removed the D flip flops entirely, and I've just been running it on the one megahertz. And to my amazement, it's been almost completely stable this whole time. Um, I've had a couple little glitches here and there, um, and I'm not sure if that's because it's running so fast or if that's something else. It very well may be a power issue, although given that it's working like this, it's I don't know. It's it's really hard to say. Uh, without being able to measure it, kind of just guessing. Um, hopefully I'll have my multimeter in not too long and maybe a scope. We'll see eventually, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say about what I've done here. I'm not quite sure what the next goal is. Um, maybe it'll be software. It might be cool. Uh, one thing that I'd like to do uh, is implement a fourth, um, and then I would be able to actually program it from a laptop and mess around with it and iterate more quickly. Um, because right now, up until this point, I've had to reprogram the ROM every single time, and that's not really fun. Um, of course, I could write a simple monitor program that just let me, you know, read, write memory and jump into it or whatever. And I might do that still, but uh, we'll see. So I'm not sure. The next update video might come out in a bit of a longer time than they have been currently, since I don't really know what I'm going to do next. Um, I guess one of the things I should do is... Uh, update the schematic I've been building and um, I don't know that I want to work on designing the PCB just yet um, maybe uh, I'm thinking in the version that I actually build on a circuit board I'm probably going to want to have two 6522s 65C22s anyway um, and yeah, I don't know, maybe some other stuff, we'll see. Um, and by the way, I should have said this at the very beginning, it just slipped my mind, but I have to give a big shout out to, I believe his name is Electronics Tinkerer. Um, in the comments, he has been extremely helpful multiple times for this project. Uh, so big thanks to you, man. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just rambling at this point, so I'll cut it here. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.